What's going on guys, Mr. Bricks here, and today we have another LEGO Star Wars set review, and it is on the 75137 Carbon Freezing Chamber. This set came out in 2016, so it is an old set, um, and this is my second upload for today. And if you haven't seen my first upload um, for today, go check it out on my channel, and while you're at it, you should subscribe. But this set comes with 231 pieces, 3 minifigures, and it is recommended for ages 7 to 12. Looking at the set, it retailed for $25 in the United States. Um, I picked this up at Target last year, um, and I like I didn't have a YouTube channel then, so I didn't I couldn't I didn't really do anything with it. But um, let's uh, get into the minifigures. First minifigure we have up is Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a classic character from the Star Wars Episode 5 and 6, and Clone Wars and uh, prequels, um, but this is his episode 5 version. Um, as you can see, he has the respected torso printing, and uh, it's pretty spot on to the movie, um, as long as the legs. His, uh, this is a great minifig, just so you know, this is such a good fig to have. It's a cheap set to get both of it, and, and I did not have an old one. Um, so this is a fine addition to my collection, as General Grievous would say. His EE3, or E33, uh, however you want to say it, his blaster, um, is just a small pistol and a black lightsaber rod attached on the end. Um, he has no arm printing, um, or leg printing, or side leg printing, is, I think, um, because... Which is kind of sad because the old, older versions of this did have arm printing, especially the old 2003 or 4 or 2, um, Boba Fett that came in the super rare Cloud City set, um, but that is said is very rare. I do not have another Boba Fett, so this is a very good uh, collection, I know. Um, as you can see, he has a side like arm tour uh bandana thing um cape uh arm cape he also has a jetpack and his helmet it's great great mold it's like the Mandalorian helmets from the battle pack and um he also has the respected printing with all the dinged up marks from Cad Bane right there and he has a rangefinder so that's always good to get and uh under the head is sadly just a clone face, um, an angry clone face. Um, you know, in the older st ones, he had a respected head in like the UCS slave one, but I just sadly do not have that set. Um, and this is his back printing right there. The next minifigure up is an Ugnaught, and the Ugnaughts are those little weird creatures in, in Bespin that control the, um, the carbon freezing chamber. Um, this is a never for before I seen Fig, um, they never made one of these in the Old Cloud City set. Um, so it's a brand new Fig. It has torso printing, which is an overalls and small leg printing because they're kind of short. And a special mold for the head. Um, and weird arm hand choice. This is, does not really match his skin tone. Um, and here's a 360 view of him. As you can see, there's more back printing. And um, that's basically all there is for the Ugnaught. Uh, great Fig. Third and final minifig for this set is Han Solo without his uh, jacket um, with wrinkled skin. Um, this is a great fig. Um, he, uh, looking up at his face, he does not have the new um, hair that came in the 2016 Death Star. But um, that's unfortunate. But his first face, he comes with two faces. Um, this one's like a worried look. Um, and turning around back, this is uh, when he's about to get frozen in carbonite, like right as it shoots up in his face. Um, and that is to match the carbonite piece, which you can see right there, but I'll get into that later. That's basically all there is for Han Solo. You can see the wrinkles go around. Whoa, wait, there's no back printing. Uh, I just noticed that. Wow, I thought there would be wrinkles in the back. And he ha does come with brown pants. They might look black on camera, but they are brown. And you might be able to see if they're brown. I don't know, but that is the third and final figure of the set. Now let's get into the actual carbon freezing chamber. 
Okay, getting into the set, we um, we will first start off with the stairs. There's stairs that lead up to the here, but that in the actual movie scene, the stairs would more be like this because there's a ramp right here, and then they walk down that because there's nothing down here. Um, but I mean, I see why they did that because that'd be kind of hard to make it go up there. But um, looking at the Han Solo piece, you can see it right there. Um. It shows, like, as I said, the face printing, the dual, double-sided face printing. Here, let me switch to Han Solo face. Is pretty close. If you can see that. They're almost exactly the same. I think they might be. That's what they're going after. Um, but you can put Han Solo in the back of this. Right here, you can just slide him in. And then he's in there. And then the main play feature of the set is um, he goes on. He's on to there. And there's this rod down here. Um, if you pull that back. Oh, jeez. just broke on me. Um, if you pull that back, he goes back. You turn around. He's frozen in carbonite. Comes back up. And he is now in carbonite for both that for the taking. Um... There's a control panel right here where the Ugnaught can go, right here. You can just set them up um, on the control panel. And then you can have Boba Fett come up the stairs and take his reward to Jabba. Um, there's also this right here, there's an elevator where Boba Fett can also come up. You can just stick them on right there. And then you can bring them up and lock it in place with this. And then you can walk out and take his prize. Um, doing a 360 the set, you can see that there is not a complete furrow circle as there is in the movie. Um, there, there's more inner workings. And right here, I'm actually not really sure what this is for down here. Um, down right here. Right in this corner. I think you can put a, your, you could put Han Solo right here, and then you can sit him in there. You can sit him in there, and you can be actually you're supposed to lay him down, and then you can turn him up, and then he's hidden from the environment, and you can turn the thing back in, and there we have it. There's a complete carbon freezing set. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, check out my other reviews, um, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's Mr. Bricks. Um, yeah, peace out. Follow my Instagram.